All right, it's time to review the cinematic masterpiece, Fred Sonic the Hedgehog, released in theaters on February 14th, 2020, and it has been known for being the best-selling movie based off a of video game, and it's so good that it's getting a sequel April 8th, 2022. Now, does this movie really deserve this title? What kind of question was that? Of course it does. Now, let's talk about the development of this movie, because it's a very interesting story. So basically in 2016, it was announced that they, they'd be making a Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and um, it was being made by Sony, but then Sony, it was moved to um, uh, Paramount, and then Paramount was the one making the movie. <laughs> then in December of 2018, we got our first ever teaser for the movie. Nobody liked this. And you want to know added fuel to the fire? The trailer. Gotta go fast. This trailer had nothing going for it. It was boring. It didn't really show off that much of the movie. It was more just showing off, hey, Jim Carrey's in the movie. Oh, there's also one more thing that it shown off. <laughs> uh, meow. Ah! Ah! Oh, come. And what did everyone else think about this? But that's just the Sonic fan base. What about the general public? They didn't like it either. After the negative reception on Sonic's design from the general public and Sonic fans alike, the director Jeff Fowler said they were going to be delaying the movie from November 8th, 2019 to Valentine's Day 2020 to get Sonic's design just right. And on the glorious day of November 12th, 2019, I woke up at 7 in the morning ready to go to school, but... There was no school. Okay, just tell us what happened on November 12th, 2019. So I checked my phone and saw that the brand new Sonic design was revealed. I'm Sonic, a little ball of super energy in an extremely handsome package. I will never forget that day, just watching that trailer and seeing everyone excited for the movie. It was just a great day to be a Sonic fan. They had done it. They had redesigned Sonic. And most movie companies wouldn't have done that. They would have just ignored the criticism and kept the original design. But Jeff Fowler and the team, they took time to redesign Sonic with help from Tyson S. And that will forever be one of the greatest things that a movie company has ever done for the fans. Now enough about the development. Let's actually get into the movie. Spoiler warning, if you don't want to get spoiled, click off now. The movie starts off with Sonic being like, yep, that's me. And then it flashed back to when Sonic was just a hedgehoglet. That was a reference. Lil Sonic lives with his guardian, Longclaw. Where are his parents? I, I don't know. They're just vibing, you know, Sonic gives Longclaw a flower, then they get attacked by Echidnas. Longclaw and Sonic rush out the window where Longclaw says, hey, you're take this thing of ring, um, uh, leave now. And then Longclaw... DIES! Ten years later, Sonic is lonely and he's watching over this cop named Tom. He calls him the Donut Lord because he's lonely and talks to Donut. Tom lives with his wife, Maddie, and they, they, watch, they watch Speed together and Sonic looks through the window, which is really creepy when you think about it. So Tom gets accepted to the San Francisco Police Department because he wanted to be a, um, a street cop. If only we knew that earlier in the movie and they could have explained that, um, but they didn't. They just kind of gave him the invite and went on with their day. Sonic, being the lonely person he is, plays baseball with himself, then explodes. This caused the huge blackout, which I'm, uh, yeah. I'm sure no one noticed that giant blue explosion, right? Then the quill is like the only thing glowing in the blackout, and that's on the only purpose they had for a blackout. The military sends Robotnik in to investigate, then he finds the footprints of Sonic. 
So then he sends the military to go track after Sonic. So Sonic abandons his cave area and goes straight to Tom's shed, because of course he does. Tom thinks it's a raccoon, so he's gonna shoot it. So he kicks open the door and says, SRPD, because he wanted to be one of those San Francisco people, and Sonic goes, uh, meow, then he gets shot. And when Sonic is tranquilized, he falls into a ring portal that he dropped, and his bag of rings fall on the top of the, the building in San Francisco. I forgot what it's called. Then uh, Robotnik goes into the house. Um, Sonic is hiding because Tom and Sonic made an agreement. When all of a sudden, uh, Sonic pops out, Robotnik screams, he gets, Robotnik gets punched, and then they drive away. Tom drops Sonic off, he runs off, falls in the Pacific Ocean, comes back because the fish on his head gets all fluffy, and then they go on a road trip. They stop at a pit stop so Tom can use a payphone to call Wade, which is another police officer. Um, then Sonic sees this very cool and epic place, so he runs over there to it. Tom comes back to see that Sonic is gone, so he drops his food and runs straight into that one building to see Sonic in a disguise. Um, they start to do a bucket list, they have fun, then all of a sudden this bald guy comes up and said, We don't allow your kind. Sonic's like, what kind is that? And he says, Hipsters! A fight breaks out, Sonic goes Quicksilver, and then they go to a hotel. Sonic gives some exposition, he farts, then um, uh, he goes to sleep. Sonic and Tom get into an argument. And while that's happening, Robotnik sends a robot after them. Sonic stops the robot, dies, gets back up, and says he has a bonus life as a reference to Mario. Um, uh, does the floss, runs back to the car. Then a, another tank comes out. Sonic says, I think that tank just had a baby. And then they, then, then they fight the tank. And then that tank gets out a little other robot. Then Tom stops it. And then a little one comes out, destroys the roof of their car, they crash, and Sonic explodes. They make it there. They, they find out that Sonic is... Uh, they, they find out about Sonic. Sonic says, gotta go fast, runs around the house. I'm a jo Jojo from Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. Gives Sonic a pair of shoes, and he's like, Oh, yeah! Then, um, uh, then... Then they go to San Francisco, and Sonic drives again. He still crashes the car. They make it there, get on the roof. And right as Sonic is about to leave... Robotnik attacks them. Sonic pushes Tom and Maddie off of the roof. Um, uh, the slow motion bit happens again. Um, Sonic throws a ring down to save Tom and Maddie. Um, Tom and Maddie, I'm um, a uh, go, I'm um, a uh, deliver a cow baby, while Sonic is fighting Robotnik across the globe. So Sonic and Robotnik are fighting across the globe. When they go up the, the, the pyramid and Sonic throws the ring and ends up back in uh, Green Hills, which is where they live at. I should have I should have said that earlier, but I didn't, and I don't feel like going back and changing it. So Sonic's laying there dead. Tom says, he's my friend. Then Sonic uses the power of friendship to stop Robotnik, sending him to the Mushroom Land, where um, uh, Mario lives. And Tom, Sonic, and Maddie have a giant, they have a good family. They go up into the attic, have a beautiful bedroom scene. Sonic flosses again, then the movie ends. But then we see Robotnik in um, uh, in the Mushroom Land with his with the rock. He says, when the credits roll, then there's an after credits scene. The wind is blowing, a ring pops up, then... <laughs> so what do I think of the Sonic movie? Well, I rate the Sonic movie a 10 out of 10, would eat again. By the way, I never actually watched Fred the movie, so, 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 so